I threw the chair at Big Boy just in time to deflect the shot. I got out the door and ran for the woods as he untangled himself and came after me. He'd catch me sooner or later unless I figured a way out, and if he caught me, I'd never come back alive. Return Ticket, a big wood story of the one thrilling moment in a man's life that can only be called High Adventure. This is High Adventure, the telling of strange stories of strong men and smooth women living the greatest and most exciting moment of a lifetime, their moment of high adventure. And on the agenda at this meeting is a story of action called Return Ticket, the author and director, Robert Monroe. And to tell it, here is the man who lived it, Jack Regan. Well, when I first started out for the number five camp, what I knew about a sawmill and logging operation, you could write on the back of a postage stamp, but the boss said, go and a job's a job. The Freeman's number five sawmill was up in the Red Rock Mountains at the other end of nowhere, and it took me a day and a half on a jerky lumber train to make it. I didn't have to worry about missing my stop because it was the end of the line. The rattler puffed up and squealed to a stop, and there I was. All around the track were piles of lumber drying out, and the forest looked like there'd been a war going on. That's what a sawmill does, I found out. They go after the big stuff and crush the small growth getting it out. When I swung down from the train... I saw there was a store and a bar on the other side of the tracks. I was heading for the bar when a short guy with a hawk nose saw me and hurried over. Well, you got back quick. Huh? Didn't expect you till maybe Thursday. I don't get it. And look at that mustache. What's wrong with it? You wait till big boy sees it. Look, mister, you know who you're talking to? Do I know who I'm talking to, he says. Where'd you get them fancy clothes? <laughs> The city sure took care of you, Benny. Say, who do you think I am? Now, Benny, take it easy. I, I was just kidding you. Can't you take a little kidding? I'm not Benny. Not Benny, he says. Hey, let's go and lose and have a drink. Now, wait a minute. You've I... got plenty of time, haven't you? i got to get to the mill if I'm going to do it. I know, I... big boy. Let him wait. Besides, uh, Sal's there. Who? City noises make you deep. Sal. Oh, Sal. Come on. Over here in the corner, huh? What's the difference? Big boy wouldn't want you to get in no fights just when you come back from the city. Maybe I like fights. You wouldn't be Benny if you didn't. Look, I'm this not the guy. This good enough. I'll bet Big Boy will be surprised you coming back so fast. Look, let's get this straight once for all, huh? When I got off the train, you took me for somebody you know. No, of course I know you. You think you do, but you don't. You don't know me. I'm a guy named Getting Jack. Getting high hat, Benny? What? What's this talk about knowing you? Maybe you can explain to this guy, lady. No, I'm lady. The usual, Benny? Huh? I want soda with mine, Lou. Oh, you gotta be fancy. Pick him up at the bar. Okay. Well, so you got back. I don't know what this is all about, but you new got... New mustache, new clothes. Too bad the city couldn't make any other improvements. Oh, Sal, that's no way to greet a fella just back from a trip. Go get the drinks. You may look different, Benny, but I'll bet you got the same rotten little mind. Now, wait a minute, sister. Get the I drinks, will... Sal, and make it the special for Benny here, huh? Oh, all right. I'll get him. You? Sit still. Somebody beat some decency into you down in the city? I told him I'm not your Benny, and now I'm telling you. Do something nice for anybody, and I'll believe you. I'll get the drink. No, no, Benny. You get him, Sal. Well, if Benny... I want to talk to Benny. You get him. It's your party. Hurry back. I will, but not for you, Benny. Bet you didn't find a better looker down in the city, did you? Uh, she's got what it takes. Yeah, that's what you always say. <laughs> You work up at the mill? Uh, of course I do. I run the cutoff. You know that. Huh. What's your name? Look, Benny, this is me, Shug. Shug. Come off it, Benny. I've been working with you for a year now. Always you gotta think up some joke. And you're the only one who gets a laugh. It's about time somebody told you the jokes aren't funny. Here. Oh, thanks. Well, here's luck. Uh <coughs> <coughs> All that stuff, it tastes like... Rat poison. You're not kidding. Sure, she's kidding. Hey, <clears throat> Sal, ain't you? Yeah, I'm kidding. Oh, tasted worse stuff, but I don't know where. Right here, last week. Now, lady, I want you to tell me what this... This lady business, you pick up that in the city, too? Well, uh, Sal, that's your name, isn't it? <laughs> that's her name, he says. Don't start it, Benny. I'm not Benny. Okay, you're Jack something or other, but don't start it. Don't start what? You know what. Every time you get a drink in you, I have to fight you off. Well, I won't bother you. This... 
Yes. This... Oh, it's... it's hot in here. Nah, it's just you and them city clothes, Benny. Yeah, maybe. Maybe so. What, what are you looking at me for? <laughs> What's wrong, huh? Uh, you don't want me to look at you? It's hot. I... Oh, the drink must have... You never could hold him, Benny. I tell you, I'm, I'm not Benny. Want another drink, huh? No, I... <laughs> can't... can't lift my arm. Too heavy. <laughs> what you looking at me like, like that for? Hey, you think... You think... Another drink, Benny? Another drink? <laughs> the room was beginning to spin, and I let my head rest on the table. First time out, and I fall for one of the oldest in the business. A Mickey in the drink. A couple of drops in one drink, and the room tilts up on its side. I could feel the guy shove going through my pockets, but I couldn't do anything about it. It was lead in my arms. The bench was sliding sideways, and I was sliding with it. Down through the brown to black, brown to black, brown to black. think again. First, I thought the harsh ripping and grinding was inside my head. It felt big enough. When I got clear in my head, I mean, I realized the sound was a sawmill somewhere nearby. Each time it hit a knot, the noise sent needles of pain through my forehead. There had been a strong Mickey in that drink, and my face was wet. I thought it was sweat, but when it splashed my ears, I knew it was water. Someone was pouring a pail of it over me and slapping me in the face. Come out of it, Benny. Come out of it, will you? Quit doing it. I warned you about drinking, you little pup. Will you? Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. You quit slapping at me. Where's the dough? The dough? Snap out of it, will you? I'm, I'm all right. Oh, sure. You'd still be on the floor at Lou's if Suge hadn't brought you back. You yeah, shook. Sure. Yeah, that's the guy. What'd you do with the dough? I haven't got any. I know that. Been through your clothes. I never, never had it. What? I'm Jack. Didn't Sanders give it to you? Who's Sanders? What are you trying to pull, Benny? I'm not trying. Did you see Sanders? I didn't see Sanders. Twenty thousand I... bucks. Oh, where is it? You got me mixed up with another guy. Huh? My name is Jack Regan. I waited a day and a half for you to wake oh. up, and you gave me jokes. All oh, right, all oh, right. So it's a I joke. I figured you was the one guy I could trust. I would have gone myself, but I never know when one of them punks from the home office is going to show. I see. They could get wise easy if they got up here with the surveyor. I. Yeah, easy. I told you they were a smart outfit. That's why I wanted you to work with me. Now, Benny, no more kidding. Didn't you get the 20 grand? I... No, I didn't. Why? Well, I, uh... I know. You hit all the bars in the city. Then somebody poured you on the train. I, uh... I, I don't know. I, I don't remember. No, I figure you wouldn't. Never could hold my drinks, could I? That's why you ought to leave it alone. 20,000 bucks. It's a lot of money. Huh? Buy a big stack of lumber. It bought a big stack. Big enough to... What's the idea? I was just thinking. Go on. Maybe I ought to have a cut You'll of You'll get your cut. I told you that. Yeah, but maybe a bigger cut, eh? Like half? You little punk. You have got the dough. I might have. You're not going to get away with it, Benny. Now, listen. You listen to me. I'm going to phone Sanders down in the city. He says you didn't pick up the 20 grand, then I'll know you never got past the bars down there. Maybe this Benny of yours Quit did... Quit playing get... games. If Sandra says he did give you the dough, you better deliver. And fast. Oh. I don't know what you're up to. You can kid all you want, but don't kid with me. I want that 20 G's. Oh, go ahead. Phone your guy, Sanders. Get your 20 G's. My head aches. Leave me alone. Did I never sent you in the first place? I don't know, better. Let me sleep, will you? Oh, no, you don't. Get out of here and over to the mill. You're on the rip. Sure. You blew that door or stashed it away to cross me up, Benny. Watch out. I'll take care of myself. Yeah, you always do. You want me, big boy? Yeah, get Benny here over to the mill. Put him on the big saw. And look to see he don't fall over. You leave it to me, big boy. The uh, city was too much for him. I know. Yes, yeah, sure. And Benny. 
Benny, I'm talking to you. Huh? Yeah? Don't think up any more jokes. All right. Shave off that mustache. Look, if I want to grow... I said shave it off. Okay, okay. Come on, Benny. Big boy don't like mustaches. <laughs> that scar on his lip. Yeah. Let go. Oh, smart guy. What was the idea of the Mickey? I can't breathe. Gonna tell me? Sure, sure. Well? I'll, I'll tell you anything you want to know. Sure, well, Benny. Yeah. Why, the Mickey my drink down at Lou's. Mickey? Don't act dumb. I don't know about no Mickey. You and the girl Yeah, put... yeah, maybe Sal put her to you. She went after the drinks. She knew she was going to. No, 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 you... You was lit when you got off the train. <laughs> Remember? You was planning it to, to make us think you was somebody else. It was some joke. Yeah, some joke. <laughs> you even had a billfold with this other guy's name on it and a letter. How'd you know that? I, uh... It, it dropped out of your coat when I carried you up here to the mill. Where is it? I, I got it right here. I was, was saving it to give it to you when you come around. Yeah, I'll bet. Money's all there. Count it. Sixty dollars. All right, where's the letter? The letter? Well, the letter. Give it to me. I, well, I I haven't got it. You must have lost it along the road somewhere. Don't hand me that. Honest, Benny. You, you lost it. All right, all right. Let's get to work. Sugar led the way over to the mill where I went to work handling the big saw. Steam-driven disc, eight feet in diameter, that gouged through the length of a log, slicing it into planks. Didn't take me long to get the trick of running it. Sugar checked off my mistakes to a hangover. While I worked that day, I had a chance to think over what happened. This guy Benny must be a dead ringer for me, or maybe I really was Benny myself, and all the life as Jack Regan was a dream. Anyway, it served very nicely and fitted into my plans for me to be this Benny for the time being. I didn't make any slip. If the real Benny didn't get back too quick, I could get my job done and go home. And I got to thinking about the girl, Sal. When we quit that night, I washed up, shaved off the mustache, and headed for Lou's place. Lou himself was behind the bar, and he didn't seem happy to see me. You again. That's bad, huh? I'd pay you to stay away if you'd take it. What's the matter? Don't I spend enough money? You're trouble, and I don't like trouble. Where's, uh, where's Sal? Around. Big boy made you shave off the tickler. Look, don't get me mad. Sal's over there in the booth. Thanks. Can I sit down? You mean you're asking me? Well. Hey, want a drink? No, thanks. Good. That makes two of us. I don't believe it. What? You, passing up a drink. Well, a guy can change. Not you. I learned. I don't like Mickey's. Oh. You did a very smooth, baby. Very smooth. Thank you. I suppose you tell me why. Why? That's right. I don't mind telling you. For a hundred bucks. Who gave you the hundred? I didn't get it. Shook? Might be. What do you need with a hundred bucks? We won't go under that again. Yes, we will. If you wanted it that much, you should have come to me. How many times have I asked you? And what do I get? You don't even remember. Right here. Twenty, forty... Fifty. Give you the other half on payday. Well? Is this another joke, Benny? It's no joke. No strings? Not a one. I've told you what I want it for. Uh, yeah, yeah, sure you have. And you're still giving it to me. There it is. You all right, Sal? Lou, look. Benny just gave me 50, and he's going to give me the rest on payday. What's the catch? And Lou, she wanted it, so I gave it to her. Well, you might change your mind. She's not going to have to wait till payday. I'll get the other 50 for you right now, Sal. Lou, I... You want a drink, Benny? No, thanks. One on the house, it'll be. I'm doing all right without it. If I didn't know better, I'd say you wasn't... There's a train down tonight, Sal. We'll get you on it. You're a swell, Lou. Guys just don't change, that's all. They don't change, not guys like Benny. I'm finally going to get out of here. Back east where I have friends and people treat you decent. Do you good? It'll do me a lot of good. Thanks, Ben. Forget it. I don't understand it. What? You knew I wanted the hundred just to get away. You used to laugh when I talked about it. You wanted to keep me here. Now, you hand it over, just like that. A guy can change. I never thought you would. Oh, you're too good to be stuck up here in the hills. It isn't what you said before. Can't we forget all the rest? 
I wish I could. Let's see how you got here in the first place. What? I said it's hard to figure why you came here in the first place. Are you sick, Benny? No, why? You don't remember my dancing act? How the show broke up six months ago, your promise of a job here? Oh, yeah, I know all that. Then why the innocent act? Well, I... Look, you got the money. What else do you want? I'll pay it back as soon as I get back east. I'll find some of my old friends. You don't owe me a thing. Benny. Benny. Hmm? Uh, yeah? What happened down the city? Nothing. Yes, it did. You're... you're different. It's almost as if you're not the same person. Suppose I'm not. If you were this way all the time, maybe I... Maybe what? Maybe people would like you more. Are you people? I thought I knew you. But it's like an, another side of you I've never seen before. Like, like meeting a person for the first time. I know. Sal, I want to tell you Don't something. Don't tell me anything, Benny. Tomorrow you'll be your own grimy self again. Cruel and thoughtless Sal, I'm and... not the oh, guy. Oh, don't spit. You had just one little moment of decency in you anyway. Goodbye. So long, baby. I got up, walked over to the door and went out. I didn't look back, but I knew that Sal wasn't as calm as she acted. She was puzzled, all right. This Benny must have been quite a character in more ways than one. I went back up the road to the sawmill into the bunkhouse and slept. Next morning, I was at the mill handling the big saw, slicing up the timber dragged in by the big cat tractors when Big Boy came down the trail from the office. He motioned me off the platform, and as I slid down to meet him, I saw his face was grim. Come on up to the office. What for? I want to talk with you. All right. What's on your mind? In the office. Well? I talked with Sanders on the phone. Where's the dough? I haven't got it. Sanders says he turned it over to you four days ago. He did, huh? I'm not going to play with you, Benny. What did you do with it? Put a rifle shot in me, you'd never get it. I can place them so they won't kill. The first couple of times. Nice guy. I'm nice until I'm crossed. Let's hear you talk. Okay. Well? I got rolled for it. What? They slipped a Mickey in my drink. You let city punks pull an old It wasn't like in that. the city, it was up at Lou's right after I got off the train. Lou did it? You can't make that stick. Lou's a guy. It wasn't Lou, it was Sugar and Sal. What? It was on your. Uh, our pitch here, and he cut himself in. Took the roll off me when I was out. Why, that yellow... You want the 20,000? Ask Shug. He's got it. You're giving it to me straight, Benny. What else can I do with that rifle in my stomach? Shug. That little sneaking... Hey. Why didn't you come out with it before? I was going to try and get it back from myself before you found out. <laughs> Never lived down being rolled, huh? Yeah. Come on, we'll take care of that little punk. Hey, there he goes. Listening at the door. Hold it, Chuck. Put a slug in your lap. Come back here. I'm coming, big boy. Now, take it easy. I wouldn't think he had the nerve. Yeah, you never know. All right, Chuck. Inside. I, I didn't do nothing, big boy. I hear different. Get in. I was just coming up to... Did you slip any here or make you up at Lowe's? Now, big boy... Did I... you? Well, sure I did, but... Where's the money you got off him? I didn't get no money off him. You want a slug in He your... didn't have none. Where is it? I haven't got no money, big boy. I give him the Mickey because I, he, he, I, I was trying to help you. More gags. No, no. I, uh, look here. See, he, he was trying to cross you up, he was. Yes, that's it. He was trying What's to... What's this? It's, it's a letter I took of him when he was out from, from the Freeman Company. Uh, he, he was posing as a fellow named Jack Regan to them. That's what he was. He was going to sell you out to them. Tell them all about those extra carloads of lumber and the... Shut the up. Fake... What's the idea, Shug? You know what the idea is. You was going to get money from the company for telling them about big boy and... Oh, you little... All that, you're going to believe him, big boy? You took this off of any the other night? Sure, sure I did. Yeah. I figured he was up to something when he come back all dressed up and... Who told you about those extra car loads? <laughs> I seen them. I noticed the way bills on the cars. Yeah. Well, Benny, you gotta believe him? This picture on the identification card is you. Only difference is a mustache. Well, it, uh... It's 
Just a joke. Another joke, huh? Sure. Well, this isn't going to be a joke. <laughs> I threw the chair at Big Boy just in time to deflect the shot. I got out the door and ran for the woods as he untangled himself from the chair and came after me. I fired from the door and the shot clipped a tree just over my head. Big Boy was fast and he could shoot straight. I ran deeper into the woods, going off the dirt road and plowing through the underbrush. After a minute or so, I thought I'd lost him and I stopped. I could hear him thrashing through behind me, so I started up again. I was beginning to get tired. I wasn't used to long cross-country runs. The ground started to rise and I went up the side of a hill trying to keep hidden the trees. And I had to rest. I leaned against a boulder and pulled air into my lungs. The bullet chipped the stone and sent splinters of rock cutting my face. I started out again. I knew I'd have to pull something or it'd be up with me. I doubled back down the hill on a diagonal, heading for the trail leading to the railroad. If I got to lose, he had a gun and then it'd be more even. I didn't stop to listen. I just kept fighting my way through. Finally, I hit the trail and started toward the railroad and lose. I walked because I was too tired to run. The big boy caught me, he caught me. I was too tired. I just turned a bend in the trail when I got the shock. There was a guy coming toward me. I stopped and looked, and so did he. It was like seeing yourself in a mirror. Hey, you're, uh... Hello, Benny. Yeah. Yeah. You finally got back. I, uh, yeah, I got back. Welcome home. Yeah, sure. You see Sanders? Huh? Oh, yeah, sure. Good. Who are you? Don't you know? I wasn't standing here sober. I'd think you was me. Maybe I am. Never seen anything like it. Yeah. Yeah, it surprised me, too. You're me. Same face. Same voice. Same build. Same eyes. Even got my clothes on. Yeah, they... They're up in the bunkhouse. I got no brothers or relations. I don't either, Benny. Who are you? Jack Regan. Like seeing me. Yeah. I know what you mean. I heard about it once. Each guy's got another guy somewhere on Earth just like him. Uh, they call it a... Your double, Benny. Yeah. Yeah, that's us. Doubles. <laughs> hey, I just thought of something. What? We could make some dough. We look so much like each other. There's a lot of twins, Benny. No, 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 listen. I go do something, see? And you, you're sitting and talking with a cop. And when I come back, the cops are alibi. Oh, I hey, got you, Benny! Hey, hey, big boy, hey, look, I got it. I got it. Oh. Ryan, cross me up, huh? All right, lay there and rock. And so I brought Sal up here because she knows I didn't take no 20 grand off Benny when he was out. Is that right, Sal? He just took a wallet and a letter. Big wallet? No. I give it back to Benny. It had, it had six... Wait a minute. Yeah, big boy? Did Benny see you after that night? Well, sure. I'm he... not talking to you. I saw him last night. I mean, I thought he and was... he gave you the dough? He gave me $50. What about the rest of it? That's all there was. Thought you'd hold it for him. Yeah, she was packing to catch a train. That's... Uh, sister, oh. you want me to break your arm? I don't know anything about... Where'd you put it? <clears throat> Where's the dough? Close to the woods, big boy. What, you? I oh, thought I had you. Get him, big boy. Get him. Give it to him. Give it to him. Hey, hey watch him. Hey, watch him. Tag him. 
You all right? Yes. I went down to Lou's, but you weren't there. Suge came after me. Yeah, Lou told me. I took his gun and got up here. What about him? Rap. What are you going to do with him? Let him be. There's no place he can run to. What happened to Shug? He ran into the woods when Big Boy fell. Yeah, he'll come back. Can't hide in the woods and live. Big Boy knows that, so he won't try it. You're not Benny. No. I didn't think so after last night. When Benny himself got off the train today, I could see the difference. Who are you? Jack Regan. Freeman Home Office sent me up here to investigate lumber shortages and deliveries. Oh. Yeah, big boy and Benny had been routing extra carloads of lumber to a builder in the city, it seems. All I had to go on was a low output rate. Looking like Benny offered an inside picture, so I just took advantage of it. I didn't help, did I? Not much. I'm sorry. It was a break, actually. What? Suge tried to cut himself in with a dope drink trick. Kind of give me time to figure the angle about Benny coming back with a 20,000 payment. Where is Benny? In the woods with a bullet in his head. Big boy thought he was shooting me. Benny wasn't good for anybody. Not even himself. No, guess not. Still gonna catch that train? Yes. I, uh... Got a return ticket myself. Freeman Company will want a report. Return ticket. Yeah. Well, we better go. Wait. What's the matter? Are you really Jack Regan? Or Benny with another one of his... Come here. <sighs> what do you think? It's afternoon. Mill is starting again. Yeah. We'll have to hurry if we're going to catch the train, Jack Regan. Come on, baby. Fares already paid. Remember? story of one thrilling moment in a man's life that can only be called High Adventure. And heard in return ticket as Jack Regan was Ross Martin, with Mary Ashworth, Don Douglas, and Jack Orison. And next week, High Adventure friends, we're proud to present a story of a man who found his future behind the cold steel of prison bars. We like to call it Lockstep. So, until next week in Lockstep, look around you, wherever you are. Watch it, but don't live it. This thing we call... High Adventure. Remember next week, Lockstep, a high adventure story of action which combined with cloak and dagger and following immediately over most of these stations, Big Guy, form a full hour and a half of mystery and adventure over NBC each week at this time. So stay with us now for Big Guy. Today, here's Sam Spade and $1,000 reward, both on NBC. <laughs>